my first card, this is kind of funny. Um, I wanted to use the Pierced Blooms dies. Uh, these are um, on the clearance rack, not the clearance rack, but they are, what do you call that? The discontinued list and they're 50% off. And I, so I wanted to use these. Now I know you guys have seen some of my cards before. I have a bunch of these already die cut. I wanted to take some supplies and make a card without die cutting anything, with just using what I already have die cut, okay? Because there's clearly a lot here. So I found a fun card that I wanted to case. And so we're gonna do that. All right, let me get a piece of paper here. Because I didn't I didn't cut all my paper. What did I say? Three and a half. I think I need papers that are three and a half by four. So hold on while I do this. Hmm. That's four. That's three and a half. Okay, how did I do this again? So that's three and a half, right? This is three and a half. Boy, and here I thought I was all prepared and then I got all flustered because I didn't do the right thing as far as scheduling this. Ugh, so annoyed with myself. Okay, anyway. So to do this kind of card, I've got two pieces of designer series paper. They both measure three and a half by four, okay? And so we're gonna cut these in half diagonally. Look at how, now look at how many people are watching us. Yeah, just because I clicked that one little button, a whole bunch of people have found us now. Jeez Louise, I tell you. Okay. <sighs> Calm yourself, Barb. Okay, two pieces, three and a half by four. We are gonna cut these on the diagonal, okay? But you need to cut them not the same. So here they both are. So this one, I'm gonna orient this way. And then the other one, I'm going to orient this. So like, they're like this. And I want the diagonals like this. So I want these two pieces to uh, be what I want them to be. So I'm going to die cut this one like this, this one like this. I'm not die cut, just cut. So I'm going to put them so that the points are on the track. Actually, I think I'm going to do one at a time because I'm afraid if I don't, then I might screw it up. So we're going to do one at a time. And then this one. Okay, so we have cut those. So we have two, we have four pieces. Okay, so we have that. And then we have this. So I want this piece. Well, basically, we could turn them because they'd be like this. Right? What am I doing? Yeah, these two would go together. And then these two would go together. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to use these, maybe, I don't know, because I also cut these earlier. I cut the polka dots. So I don't know now which one I want to use because they're both going to be amazing. All right. So we're going to make kind of a pocket card. So these are going to be, the pocket's going to tuck into that. So we have um, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch layer of Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to add... So I couldn't find my seal. I'm going to add a layer of red to this. So this is four by five and a quarter. Wait, this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I think I said that wrong. And then this is four by five and a quarter. So these should layer together nicely with a little bit showing. Okay. There we go. And then we'll add this layer here. So then this is three and three quarters by five. This is just plain old basic white and we're going to add that one also so we've just got um whoops oh i didn't get that quite where i wanted it so so i wanted to say thank you guys for joining me tonight uh, it's hard to say what kind of tips i'll be sharing with you because the tips always come from me screwing something up and I never know what I'm going to screw up. You, you can't predict that. So uh, the tips that you're going to learn tonight, who knows what they're going to be. All right. So we have two uh, layers here. Oh, I forgot to, good Lord, you guys. I totally forgot to talk about the most important thing going on today. <laughs> free shipping. <laughs> today is free shipping day with Stampin' Up. So all orders over $75 get free shipping. Plus... If you use my host code, I'm going to send you a package of these beautiful glossy dots next month. And here is the host code you must use. It's T, no, I can't remember, S4, so S is in Sam, 
four Q U E Z two. Okay, isn't this pen fantastic? It writes on black and it writes on white. I know, right? And then these are black post-it notes that I found. So much fun. Anyways, so you must use the host code in order to get the dots. So there you go. Okay, gosh, I can't believe I forgot about that. Probably because I placed my order at 12.01 a.m. this morning. I got up earlier. Well, I didn't get up. I stayed up late and then did it. Okay, so now this is what you would do with these two diagonal pieces. Oh my gosh, you guys are saying how much you're loving these dies. I know. And at half off, you cannot beat it. You know what? I honestly think like, I don't think I'm going to go with the stripes. That's not speaking to me. I think I'm going to go with these little dots instead. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I don't think I told you what these layers measured. Oh, now I can't remember. This is two and three quarters by four. So then the Fleur de Flamingo is three by four and a quarter. So I'm just going to place that on here and then I'm going to glue these pieces down. So I'm going to glue them down by the edges and I have my little pull out piece stuck in there because I want it to be like, I want it the full thickness to be on here uh, while I get this glued down. So I'm going to line these up along the edges of the cardstock here. Okay, kind of just press that into place. You notice I didn't get too crazy with the glue. I didn't, you know, I mean, I put a fair amount of glue on, but the beads are very skinny and thin, and that will help keep the glue from squishing out all over. Okay, so then I'm going to add this one in the corners, what I'm kind of looking at, and then along the edge. And then the edge up to the top here. Gosh, most of you guys that didn't couldn't find me missed our whole conversation about the love boat. My husband and I have been watching the love boat. <laughs> Such a great show. Okay, so there. Now the pocket is going to be thick enough to keep my little insert in. Okay, so what? here's my plan. I, I don't really have a plan, but so... I wanted to use, I'd look, I kind of looked at the tray and thought, what do I have the most of? Well, I have the most of Flirty Flamingo and Red and then Coastal Cabana. So, oh, let's see. I like that. Uh, where's another one? I need another kind of big one. I think this one. I like that one, and I like that one, and I like that one. So I kind of thought I'd just make a little design right here at the point where the papers come together. And of course, I've got some leaves in here already. Um, so we can use some leaves. Yeah, I did not die cut one thing today. This is all just stuff I've already had that I've die cut from other projects. And I thought, I'm just going to make a card using these. All right, and so then I also thought these little guys might be kind of fun to use. I thought I saw another one in there. This little four-leaf thing. Oh, right here. Okay, because I think if you stack them on top of each other, you can make like a full flower. So let's just do that. Let's just stack them here. Um, offset a little bit. Do something like this. So then we kind of have like a little flower there. Press that down. I need a, a middle for this. Um, let's see. So if I'm going to stick this on this, I guess I need something red. Oh, I have this or this. Let's see. That seems a bit large, I think. Yes, this one seems a bit large. What else do we have? Oh, this. This looks good. I think that'll work. So these are going to be, this is going to be my little inside piece. My gosh, thank you guys for joining us and sharing it and liking it and all that stuff now after my little mess up. Um, I didn't uh, schedule this to be a public video. I scheduled it to be a private video. <laughs> Ding dong, that's me. Um, and so that's why some of you couldn't find us because Barb, 
uh, didn't have it, didn't do it right. Okay, so here's another one of the leaves that comes in the set. So I'm just going to kind of push these together. So I'm going to put a little glue right here and I'm going to overlap those a little bit. So this is what they're going to look like. And then I think I can just add some glue back here. I know, Trish, yes, because I'm a dingbat. Total dingbat. Do you cut those from paper or cardstock? Um, Mary, these are all cardstock pieces. Uh, and I just have a whole bunch from just projects that I have done in the past. You know, I just needed things, and so I just cut a whole bunch of stuff. Threw them in a little baggie, and they were in my die set. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to pull them out, and I'm just going to use what's in there. So, yeah, like I said, I kind of looked at the tray, kind of saw what I had the most of, which seemed to be red, Florida Flamingo, and um, Coastal Cabana. We'll do this. Yes, I know you guys. Thank you for coming and finding me. Jeez, Louise, I tell ya. The struggle is real. Okay, so that's going to be tucked in there. And then these are going to be outside. So um, this one's going to be at the bottom of the uh, point here. And then we'll just kind of put the flirty one. I don't know. Maybe like that. Something like that. This one, under, over, I think under. So I think what I might, well, let's see. I think I'm going to put glue on these two petals and then just put them on here. So I don't want any glue on the pieces that are going to be hanging over because I don't want them to stick on that. So just on the pieces that are on the side here. Okay. Um, and then we do have a bunch of leaves so we can do some tucking under of some leaves here. Now, let's see, maybe we can put the big one here. Maybe that one, we may have to chop that off a little bit. Ooh, I wonder if we could put two together. I don't see why we couldn't, honestly. We just need some scissors. I might've chopped that off too much. <laughs> I got a little scissor happy. Eh, I think it'll work. Okay. So this one I'm going to shove under there. Having it stick out just a bit. And then this one I will get under there also. Try to cover up that little open spot where there wasn't a leave. Sometimes you can like manipulate them and um, pull them so that they have a little bit of dimension to them. If you just kind of burnish it with your hand, you can uh, get them to be a little bit 3D, I guess. And this I'm gonna tuck under. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, now I need to do the middles of these. What do we have in here? Let me just pull out some of these little middle pieces. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to layer these together. Oh my, I got, something must have stuck on me. I'm still flustered because I'm a dingbat and I didn't have the right setting on this. That's just mm, kind of infuriates me that I did that. But what are you going to do? You guys are finding me, thankfully. So I guess if we like and share that might help maybe i should i should see if i can like and share my own thing i wonder if i could is that kind of ridiculous to share and like your own stuff <laughs> i don't know is it so new catalogs are on their way i have heard from a few people that they have been arriving so that is good news So if you're a demonstrator, you probably already have your catalog because Stampin' Up! sent ours out. And then if you are a customer, uh, then your catalog should be coming. Expecting snow. Oh my gosh, I bet you guys are too, Gene. Yeah, and then of course it means ice and ugh, again, roads closed, just all that ridiculousness that goes along with 14 inches of snow. Come on. Okay, 
there i think that is pretty dang cute do i need anything else i might hmm. what if i cut that in half and made like a little duo here let's try this I think that'll work don't you guys think i think i need to position it a tiny bit differently but i think it should work yeah that is kind of cute Ooh, i feel like if i do that then i have too many flowers with that but if i tuck it under there maybe no can i get it under that oh you know i think i might be able to hold on i'm going to snip just a tiny bit off the bottom and then i'm just going to barely put any glue right here at the very bottom and then I'm going to tuck this under this. I think I can get it under there. There. Oh, yay. Okay. So then I need a sentiment. What am I doing with this? Sentiment? Oh, yeah. This is what I had figured. This is what I had decided on. Put the flower on the insert to the top just to see how it looks. Can do. Is that what you mean? Actually, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Maybe we'll do that. Thanks for the idea. Okay. That's why I love not having a complete idea when I come on here, you guys. I like letting you help me uh, figure some stuff out. So I do think that looks a little bit better. Okay, let me push that out of the way. Push my tray of flowers out of the way. I need this. Okay, so this stamp set is half off. It's kind of crazy. Normally Stampin' Up! does not discount stamp sets because, you know, that's their bread and butter, but they must have a lot of them. So this stamp set is half off. And now, while I have used the neckties and I have used the coordinating dies, what I really like about this set is these fonts. I just really like the birthday one and I like the little thank you, the you're the best. I like the bows. You can stamp them in literally any color. They can be for little girls. They can be for babies. Um, they can be for guys. And so... I, I do like this set for that reason. And so I pulled out because I want to do uh, the happy birthday sentiment. And so now we're going to do it at the bottom rather than at the top, which is what I was going to do. But then we had a fantastic suggestion. Um, I need a block. Is this big enough? No, well, I guess it's going to have to be. I think that was a fantastic suggestion. So now I just have to decide if I want... I don't think I can really put it up. I may have to put it down here at the bottom. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do a tester first. Because I'm not sure if this is going to be even or straight or whatever. So, wow, that is pretty straight. Okay. Okay, hold on. Did somebody put the flower on the insert at the top just to see how it looks? Oh, yeah. I, I, Annette, you're right. Annette said she likes it down because then it's a little surprise when you pull it out, which I agree that is. Okay. I am so sorry, Yolanda. That was a fantastic suggestion, but I do think Annette's right. And I'm going to go with what she says. We're going to stick it at the bottom. And then I'm going to stick my happy birthday uh, kind of up here. There. Okay. So then for my embellishment, uh, this little kit is on sale. It's five dollars and sixty cents. This is uh, something that we are using in our fun folds class today. Not today, this month. Um, and it comes with these fantastic little sequins that already have adhesive on the back. So I thought that maybe we could put these in the middles of the flowers just for like you know a little bit of extra bling. I thought that might be kind of nice. And then we can add maybe a couple more, maybe on some of these little circles. So that way we have some shimmer and some sparkle. And I would put it, well, I wonder if it's going to get stuck, if it's going to get caught. I hope not. I mean, I guess I can make sure it doesn't get caught when I'm using it, but if the person that gets it, they might catch it. But anyways, that's cute. All right. Mary says she liked the flower on the top. Well, I do agree with you, Mary. I did like it on the top. I do like the idea that when you pull the little card out, you have a fun little surprise. So we're going to go like that. Okay. So uh, this is an amazing kit. It's got these fun sequins. And plus then it has all these, there's 10 sheets of these gold accent pieces. Uh, there's leaves and then there's frames. And so, yeah, just a lot of prettiness in there for $5.60. Okay. Okay. So that is card number one. We are done with that. 
And this was my uh, inspiration card, you guys. This was a card that was in a class that we did a couple of years ago called Country Club. And that's where my idea came from. This was a card that we had in the class. And I was like, oh, I could make a fantastic flower card with that. So that's what we did. Okay.